The museum actually got started back in the 1930s uh, when Stuart Northrum established it in, in Shoals Hall. And then when this building was built in 1952, the museum moved over here, got its own room, and it's been in this room ever since. New Mexico has an awful lot of interesting geological specimens. And the museum got started when these specimens uh, began to accumulate, and Dr. Northrup, back in the 1930s, sought to put them on display. Some of these specimens, actually a lot of the specimens, are collected by members of the department, both faculty and students, and, and uh, we select the best ones for uh, exhibit in here. We kind of try to portray not only just rocks, but also uh, minerals and fossils, and there are some exhibits about important geological localities in the state as well. New Mexico has an excellent, excellent geologic record. The geology is absolutely fantastic. And there are, you know, literally dozens of world-class geological features uh, in the state. Uh, this exhibit shows one of the, the best known of New Mexico's geological features. This is the Valles Caldera, or the Jemez Caldera, in the Jemez Mountains. And what a caldera is, is a volcano that exploded and then collapsed in on itself. And this caldera is something like 14 miles wide, and it uh, exploded about uh, one and a quarter million years ago. It's one of the best preserved, largest calderas, certainly in North America, and probably the, in the entire world. This exhibit shows you some of the igneous rocks that uh, the caldera produced and other volcanism around the caldera produced. And this, you know, hopefully would stimulate people, uh, people's interest so that they might be willing to contact the people who run the Valles Caldera Preserve now and maybe you know, take a tour. Uh, I've been in there and I can guarantee everybody that this is one of the most uh, unspoiled, spectacularly scenic places in the entire state of New Mexico. We have two large display cases of um, fairly spectacular specimens of many different kinds of minerals. And uh, many of these are from New Mexico, uh, many of them are not, but they provide a good introduction to the major groups of minerals and some of the flashier, more colorful uh, minerals. And even for somebody who's not been exposed to geology at all, a lot of these minerals are really spectacularly pretty just to look at. And um, other displays, um, indicate some of the uses that we put these minerals to and people would probably be surprised at uh, all of the kind of everyday uh, things that uh, come from minerals. So minerals are important to our to our society and as you can see they're, they're very interesting and, and pretty objects. Okay this is a freestanding uh, single limb bone from a duckbill dinosaur that was collected up in northwestern New Mexico. Um, it's not in its own case. Um, it's basically here so that people can examine it closely. Because it's uh, open and not in a case, uh, you can actually come by and touch it and, and feel what a dinosaur bone actually looks like and feels like. And as the illustration here shows, this is just the upper hind limb bone of this dinosaur. Of course, the, the complete dinosaur was much, much larger. Over here in this corner of the museum, we have uh, uh, three seismograph instruments, which basically measure earthquakes as they occur. And it's hooked up to a digital display of the distribution around the world of earthquakes in real time. What this would show us, for example, is all of the earthquakes that have taken place in the world any time within the last 24 hours. Uh, with different colors for yesterday's earthquakes and earthquakes through the past uh, uh, two weeks. This flips every few minutes to a map of the United States showing you the earthquakes of the last two weeks in the U.S. And uh, this is a, a neat way of just kind of keeping track, if you're interested, uh, in the earthquake activity in just about any part of the world, and particularly in, uh, in, the, in the United States. And so, for example, here you can see you know, 95% of all of the earthquakes that occurred in the past couple of weeks have occurred in California. New Mexico has a spectacular record of fossils extending back 500 million years, 
And some of the most interesting are relatively recent fossils, that is the last few million years. But most people don't realize that uh, back at that time there were several different kinds of elephants. And uh, we have here in this exhibit some uh, specimens, uh, some uh, jaw bones and teeth and limb bones uh, of fossil elephants. You know, fossil elephants in the wild in New Mexico is kind of a strange sounding uh, concept. Uh, but they, they existed in the state until about 10,000 years ago when they became extinct. 